with a little more humble surroundings. Joining me now to discuss the Corbin Grand office design is the feng shui expert, Gabriella Galbenas. So do you think this is a good thing Mr. Corbin's done? I think it's a very good thing for him. And um, just this morning I look at his destiny chart and I see he's got a snake. So for him, He's having a snake. a snake in his chart, so having a snake, actually a snake is in charge of the environment. So he <clears> actually, you can say that he can smell a good place. So is a snake a good thing to have? Well, it depends very much on the chart. Snakes, <laughs> for him, it's good, it's good, I have to say. And um, obviously, it helped him to take the decision. Actually, he got it. So. He, he said that he felt like a prisoner in a gilded cage, the way it was. Yes, I have to say that snakes need a very nice environment to develop and have the best of their outputs. And because he's uh, actually, um, he got a lot of output mm -hmm. in his chart, he's very much of uh, people's man. So mm -hmm. he's working for other people. So he's very happy when he can do something for somebody else. You know this office, does it <laughs> seem a gilded cage to you? A bit, yeah. I mean, it's, I've been um, there, it didn't seem that gilded to me. Uh, it was a cage more than gilded cage, maybe. Um, <laughs> it's sort of stuck away in a corner. It, it, I mean, it, it's, it's not something you pass through on the way, so you tend to have to seek out people rather than just getting people, mm. your, your MPs and their staff coming it through. It is naturally. a bit out of the way. That's... Yeah, it is a bit out of the way. But he had, doesn't he have a room behind the speaker's chair as well? He has, well? A, yeah, which is that's very oak panelled and dark, though. I don't think okay. it's a, a great place to Let's work. Let's just look at the room. We can see it there. There it is. There, that, there it is. That's, I assume that's the old room. Uh, that's that, yeah, because that's Cameron, got David that's Cameron got has. Mr. Miliband still there. Uh, what do you make, Gabriella, when you see that room? Does that, does that need a bit of shuang, feng shui? <laughs> it's very difficult to say because it's just a room. Yeah. But as I say this morning, I look at the environment of the area where he, where actually he moved on. Right. And it's a very nice and very auspicious area. So I have to say that the environment is supporting the house. Actually, his. Let's see number ten. This is where Mr. Miliband would have been if he'd been Prime Minister. Oh, we haven't got that picture. Uh, okay. Uh, the, one Labour source is quoted as saying that the old office that you know so well mm -hmm. has been turned into quite a comfy university-style common room where aides can relax and brainstorm. That's... Um, as, a, as a former university lecturer, I'd be you very like... much opposed to that. Oh, you'd be terrible, opposed to that. Terrible. I thought you'd like that. Um, it's, got lots of, it's got lots of sort of squishy sofas in it. Yeah. Um, and I understand that he's moved to the, the office that Ed Balls had, although Ed Balls didn't use it much, but George Osborne previously did use it quite yes. a lot. So he's, I'd like to know what George Osborne's destiny chart is, by the way. That would be an interesting. <laughs> so the, interesting when, when you feng shui something, it's not just the room itself, it's the environment around it as well. That's right. I always start with the environment to see the way environment supports the building, first of all. And okay. obviously then we move on to internal. But what but, I would suggest actually... Oh, See that now we're looking. This, this is not a very good position at, at no, all. No, I mean this is the office. Of the prime minister. It doesn't look like the office of the prime minister, does it? <laughs> because you need to be in, in a background. command position. You see. Yeah. So he's actually backing the door. So he should face the door yeah. in order to have actually that's and the door. Control. Right. Is that the door? That's the double door to the cabinet uh, room, and there is a door in front of him that he's look, that he's. In, yes, prime out. minister. The the, the, the the always used the cabinet office room. Didn't always that's use right. the cabinet that's room. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so it depends right. very much what he well, spends. Well, there we go. We'll get the, we're going to tell the Prime Minister that you should come in and feng shui him as well. Thank you for it that. It should be good. It's uh, just gone half past 12. Coming up in a moment, it's our regular look at what's been going on in European politics. For now, it's time to say goodbye to my guest of the day, Stuart Wood.